G'day and welcome to Sports. We'll start with our highs and lows from the weekend. Lydia? Oh, Kristen Petraka! Out there on the MCG, running around, 21 disposals, nab rising star. What an absolute jet. He's going to be a star. Diesel looking good. Finals, calling it now. Finally. Who do they play? Who do they play? Oh, the uh, Brisbane. Uh, yeah. yeah. Really, yeah. That basketball could Bris kick a goal Brisbane against the Brisbane yeah. Lions yeah. in their form at the moment. Yeah, no, they're junk. And speaking of poor form, um, bloody Tom Jonas on Andrew Gaff. That's not a good look. <laughs> Terrible look. And the MRP have made the right call six weeks absolutely appropriate and with concussion being such a big issue just yeah really poor form my low from the weekend is on that concussion um train uh dave mirror the bmx legend yeah. diagnosed in post-mortem with uh, cte that so disease that's that's uh, going through nfl players first action sports athlete to be diagnosed my high from the weekend was a low for Louis van Gaal. Uh, the sacking of him has led to the return of Jose Mourinho to the EPL. He wasn't out for long, but he will take over at Old Trafford next season, which means... Exciting times. The reigniting of him and Pep. Pep, obviously, at City. I cannot wait. Now time for a real sport, rugby league. And my high for the week is the Titans. They just continue to keep on. Ash Taylor killing it at halfback. Great win from yeah. them away from home. It hurts me to say it's another rising talent that happens to be a friggin' Queenslander. Add it to the list. Yeah, full of them. Speaking of state of origin, mm. my low for the week was Tyrone Peachy. Tyrone, what were you doing, buddy? Dive on the ball. They teach you that in the under sixes. If your kid did that, you'd slap him behind the ear and take away his Big Mac voucher. Yeah, soft as butter that was. The free uh, Happy Meal at, at McDonald's. God, oh, that, 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 that was the reason you played sport on the weekend. Oh, anyway, let's it? get into Origin. Yes. Uh, what do we think? The teams have been named, winners and losers. Well, I just mentioned Tyrone Peachy being the biggest loser. Probably paved the way for Dylan Walker, someone who's been out of discussions. Uh, but he's got all the skills. It'll be interesting to see whether. He's up to the task, but yeah. Kyle felt dropped his <laughs> dropped his way out of Origin contention twice, literally and figuratively. There was a great moment in the he was in the sheds at halftime, and the camera sort of did a, like a little zoom in on him, and they were like, "Have he has he just dropped his way out of Origin?" And I was like, "Yes, yes. mate, you have. Yes. You cocked it up." Dan right Gagai, right. the incumbent, keeps his spot outside. Justin O'Neill, who gets his, his debut, oh. warranted. He played his way in. Yeah. It's funny, like, there was a lot of talk about combinations and whether it'd be O'Neill and Felt on one side. I think O'Neill was outstanding. Felt, a couple of errors. Gagai keeps his spot, but a whole new right side. I'm hoping the Blues can exploit that. Also exciting mm. to see Corey Oates get a go. Um, playing really well for the Broncos and, you know, gets his reward. Had First try picked. scorer, watch out. Had to be picked. Unlucky not to be picked for Australia. And as a New South Welshman, that's tough to admit. Yeah. But I felt like behind Semi Radradra, he's probably the form winger of the competition. I still think we'll bash him on, on <laughs> Wednesday week. With Dugan playing at centre, Queensland are, uh, are winners in that sense. Dude, Dugan at fullback gives Queensland nightmares. Corey Parker even said it a few weeks ago. He said, look, if I'm defending against Josh Dugan, if I had to choose between fullback and centre, I want him out in the centres. Yeah. So he's probably going to get 10 touches of the ball, whereas he probably had about 20 at fullback. He's dangerous at fullback, isn't he? Oh, and he's not, such a good runner. And not so much in the centres. But you could say the same mm -hmm. about Inglis. I mean, we True. enjoy when he's in the centres. We're going to be playing at home bush. It's going to be a dewy track. Mm -hmm. Maybe eight to 10 touches he'll get, unless they can involve him some other way. Yeah. Queensland, as we know, uh, we're not afraid to not be loyal when it when it counts, when it's needed. No, well, I think Nate Miles was picked. Jacob Lilliman, now that Josh McGuire's to, back. Tough to miss out. One of tough the best, I'm going to go out and say, possibly the best forward on the field in Game 3 last year. Did he get man of the match in Game 3? Oh, I think I turned off with about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> and that, that was, was, uh, it was not was a very good time. Was, was it? Oh, that's right, 52 to 6. You know, sometimes the bounce of the ball goes your way, sometimes <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah, couple of, yeah, the ball just yeah. bouncing. Well, with, I was yeah. watching highlights in two, of the 2056-16 New South Wales win where Queensland just gave up. So, mm. you know, I think we were just, they were just too good. Like, yeah, you've got to go yeah. back to find some highlights for yourself. 16, 16 years ago, I'm surprised that was, that was televised. Back anyway, then. I think so it's, it's probably time to move on. Uh, <laughs> I think New South Wales have picked an attacking team. They've realised that you can't just grit and grind your way to a victory over Maroons. We did it in 2014. 
There are a couple of moments where we were lucky. Last year, we were blown away in the third game with a defensive-oriented mindset. So we've got to pick attackers. A couple of, you know, bounce, like you said, a couple of bounces of the ball, all of a sudden you look up and the scoreboard and it's 52 to six. It just happens sometimes. A nightmare, and, but an absolute learning experience for our guys. The guys they've kept on board will benefit and we've got an attacking team. We're gonna fight fire with fire. I like Laurie's approach, which probably makes James Roberts' mission all the more surprising. I felt like, yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, Matt Moylan, great player. I would have gone Dugan at fullback, Roberts in the centres, and possibly Moylan in the halves or on the bench. Mm. But um, James Instead Roberts, you, very unlucky. Yeah, you said you picked a couple of doormats at, uh, in the halves, which I like. I think that's good for from a Queensland perspective. We'll, uh, we'll leave it there. Um, what do you think is going to be the headline after when next Wednesday night? Well, I think we'll protect the doormats, and uh, I think we'll end up winning the game 18-4. That's my prediction. And uh, what did I, I, I got to read this because this is such a good headline. I thought of this only moments ago. Queensland marooned, Blues pack leaves cane toads upriver without a paddle. It's going to be a double, spa, double yeah, page spread, be, clearly. It's going to be wrapped around from taken? the back page onto the front page. I do. I see a couple of pages in the middle. It's not going to be headline. a front page on the Courier Mail because they generally like to use crayon and use uh, 2D pictures. Oh, but, it has uh, been an exterminate. I think it was my favourite. When we've won eight years in a row, yeah, uh, that was a good one. Yeah, it probably yeah. took about twelve of the Courier Mail's finest, but uh, well, anyway, they did well. my uh, my headline's going to be Cronk does it again, winning field goal sinks Blues Blues dreams, something like that. <laughs> what do you reckon? Oh gosh, I don't know about a headline. Maybe um, J JT's show stopping <laughs> performance sinks. Deathless Blue, yeah. Blues. Blues. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure, and I reckon twenty to ten to Queensland. It's going to be an absolute walk in the park. Yeah, it's going to be a nice, easy one down there at ANZ Stadium. Uh, we'll, we'll go now to our quick three. We'll start with the AFL. Uh, should they have some sort of red card sending off rule? I think absolutely not. I don't think it works in AFL. I think it's just, it's, it's not right. I think the advantage should be um, points. Maybe you get a 50 metre penalty or maybe... You, but like, what about your player gets knocked out for the game? Yeah. I mean, I mean, don't you think that there should be some sort of red card, some sort of remuneration? Like, otherwise, it's they got the replays, they can easily go and review it. The guy's lying on the ground for 10 minutes, like in Gaga land. Let's just go upstairs and just go bang, yep, that looks terrible. Send this guy off. The Australian cricket team just been announced for their tour of Sri Lanka soon. No Pattinson, who is out with a stress fracture again, and uh, no Siddle, which I'm very happy about. But what are your thoughts? Enriquez comes in. First time since. Homework gate. Homework gate. Everyone's favourite tour homework ever. Homework gate. Oh, brilliant. Um, no, I think it looks like quite a good team on paper. Obviously, some people still to be left out. It's a 15 man um, squad at the moment. Um, good to have Stark back. I hope he bowls yeah, well with the fine. red ball. It's so exciting when he bowls well. When I look through the squad, I want to see at least three or four players' names who I think could make the headlines for off field incidents. <laughs> I think we play our best cricket when there's a few loose cannons. Mm. And looking through this team, they all look like a bunch of Dudley Do Rights. And yeah. no great surprises. Sri Lanka in a rebuilding phase. We'll probably take the series comfortably enough, and then everyone will forget that it even happened five minutes later. <laughs> we'll finish up with Origin. Back to where we started from. Should it be a standalone weekend? 100% yes. Definitely. And I would add internationals. Expand the Pacific Series. Tonga, Papua New Guinea, Fiji, Samoa. Have a round robin. Let's do this. Yeah. All right. You heard it. Todd, listen to us. Plus, think about how messed up drunk you could get if it was on a Saturday night. Mm. I mean, you still can on a Wednesday, but work sucks on a Thursday. <laughs> oh, it's shit for the economy. <laughs> but, uh... All right, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. If you like sports, make sure you subscribe on the link down below. Do it.